Welcome guys, I'm Al. And I'm Pierre. And this is the Call to Whiskey. All, All hail, hail cow. cow! Today we're talking about the brrrr... Brenne? Brenne. Brenne. Brenne <laughs> or Brenne. It's up to you. We're talking about French Whiskey Day. Let's take a look. Welcome back. So today's whiskey <laughs> is from uh, France. It is from the heart of Cognac. And the water source on this is La, Ch La Charente. There you go. <laughs> Pierre is our resident Frenchman for the day. Um, we don't have confirmation on whether or not there's E150 or uh, chill filtering added to this. Um, it is at 40% ABV, so we, we can pretty much assume that it's chill filtered. Uh, the E150, they make a big show of being organic and practicing local terroir. But uh, my <laughs> guess is that uh, you know if it was natural coloring, they'd put it on the bottle. But we have no confirmation one way or the other. Uh, this is aged in French limous... limousin. Limousin. Or limousine. There you go. Uh, and cognac barrels. The only whiskey in the world to be aged in both those two uh, barrels. And uh, I'm pretty excited about this. Yes, I am. I I, I can't wait to see uh, to, to to get a, a difference between you know. The regular, the other whiskeys that we've had, and the cognac feel for this one. Let's take a look. Yeah. History time. Founded by Allison Park in collaboration with a third generation French cognac distillery, Bren was officially established in 2012. However, they've been making whiskey on site since 2002. There are only two expressions in their core line. This single malt NAS and their 10 year limited release. Bren is 100% organic and non-GMO. They proudly practice local terroir and use the same yeast used for cognac. Bren literally translates to young sprouting barley. Now let's see how this young barley stands up. All right, let's take a look at the nose. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, very sweet. It's candy-like. Yeah. It's it's some of the sweetest whiskey I've ever, ever smelled, actually. This is super sweet. It's almost like a like a white wine sweet, like a vanilla, flowers, pears. Very refreshing. Mm. Butterscotch. It really doesn't smell like a like a whiskey. No, it's it it's like it's sweet. like mango. It's like tropical fruit, like a hint of almonds. Let's take a look at the palate. It's a little bit of tobacco. Yeah, like a like a dry like a dry white wine actually. Um, like um, apples, caramel, French Nutella, cream. chocolatey. It's yeah, kind yeah, of chocolatey. Yeah, 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 chocolatey. It's uh, medium. It's like a hard candy. Yeah, yeah, but it's not really sweet to the taste. You know what I mean? It's not as sweet as the nose, uh, mm -hmm. but it is very sweet. Um, there's no bitterness in here. Um, like orange peel. The website on this place reminds me of Pinterest made a whiskey. There's like yeah. a video of the girl and she's like traveling through San Francisco on her bike. To be honest, I wasn't taking this whiskey too seriously to start off with because of what the website looked like. Plus it's French, you know. <laughs> Man just have a death wish. <laughs> Just so you know, I'm seven feet tall, so I don't, you know, he... <laughs> well... <laughs> it's like chocolate raisins on the finish, and um, it's refreshing. It's not very long on the finish. No, it's not. No, it's, 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 it's like a, like a, like a fortified, uh, like, like, sweet wine. Like, But you definitely can get the, the, the hint of cognac in it. Oh, yeah, yeah but, I mean, cognac's pretty sweet, yeah, too, you can, like... You can get... Even to the, uh, the, the, the the smell of the fungus. Yeah. Can you smell that? I don't know. The torula? I wouldn't go that far. The torula? Yeah? You smell it? Yeah, I do. Mm. Like, you smell that a lot with the cognacs, right? Yeah. You have the torulas. Mm. You, you know what I mean, mm. right? The, the... Just like a light lemon and... Like something is wet. Like something mm. is damp. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What's the price? Well, it's going for about 60 to $65. Um, hmm. I don't know. It's a little overpriced for me. Mm. Uh, you know, I... I, I, I think with, with the other ones that I've, well, that you've, I've had the pleasure of tasting yeah. here, um, I think that that's a little pricey for this. Yeah, I... Is it because it's... They're very small, so I'll give them the benefit of doubt, you know, I mean, it's hard when you're first starting out. Uh, you know, they're not a large distillery, you know, and getting distribution, stuff like that. So, I'm gonna guess a lot of that price is just on their, their size. Uh, that being said, I mean, for being a French whiskey, if you want to try what French whiskey tastes like, 
uh, you know, they, they, they pretty much cornered the market on, on, on that. So that being said, who really wants to try French whiskey? I mean, well, you are, <laughs> you are trying it. <laughs> what shelf do you think this goes on? Well, I think I'd say mid, lower mid. Yeah, I'd, I'd say this is solid second shelf whiskey. And for 60 to 65, you'd want it to get a little bit higher than second shelf. A little disappointing, but I mean, it, it's French whiskey. And, uh, you know, you, you pay for the privilege of trying a whiskey from another country, right? So, well, on that note, how do you say cheers in France? Te santé. Well, here in Quarantine America, we say, here's to staying positive and testing negative. All, All hail, hail cow. cow. Pierre, you're French. Shouldn't you be wearing this beret? Ah, oh, never mind. Never mind. That was that was my that was my bad.